My name's Justin Old Husher. I'm a first generation, third year Cleveland farmer. I own, operate, till, seed select, seed save, market, and sell for my Old Husher's farm. We're sitting right now at an expansion plot that I'm calling Old Husher's Perennial Expansion Farm here on six acres of a future co-op in Cleveland called Kinsman Farm. Justin, what's up with that trash heap back there? Why'd you pick this spot, man? Well, that trash heap back there is an illegal dump. You see dudes scrapping back there all the time. You see some dumping back there fairly often. Uh, not every place on Kinsman Farm has a trash heap backdrop, but I kind of selected that especially for um, like effect is probably the best way to say it. Next year I'll have about 4,000 feet of asparagus and about another 2,000 feet of rhubarb. We're sitting on a bunch of sunchokes right now and I think uh, just for the backdrop it'll be a metaphor for urban farm and change. All right, so why are we here today, Justin? We're here today to promote my urban farm manifesto. This is a 20 page comic zine with a little slight essayist elements. It chronicles my three years of farming the wilds of Western Cleveland and then mixes in socio-cultural commentary on things like food sovereignty, food politics, zoning, permits, small money revolutions. You know, normally I'm an essayist on my blog and this kind of presents itself as a different format for me that I'm just trying to broaden my horizons with a comic zine-like element. Well, I try to go the mainstream publishing route, whatever that means these days, and mainstream publishers, they just seem to, seem to not be getting it, what I'm trying to say. And uh, if you want to hear some of the feedback that I got, I got, I got some of that right here. For example, is a hoop house some kind of new indoor basketball court? What does rotten tomatoes got no bling mean? There's nothing in here about container gardening. Oh, and this is my favorite, though this is a little wordy. Though your novella does have many graphic novel-like images, this hardly qualifies as a comic, let alone a graphic novel. Furthermore, and though we respect your profession as an urban farmer, the couple of illustrations of presumably yourself hardly qualify as an action figure, superhero, or even a consistent character. All right, man, tell me about this wild style of yours. I know I get your vegetables and, you know, they're, they're always crazy. Why, why do you do this? Wild style is what I like to grow. I like vegetables that tell a story. I like vegetables that can blow, blow people's minds. I like to grow heirlooms mostly. Things like, again, heirloom tomatoes, Ch Charente and Tigger melons, Mexican sour gherkins, the Native American sunchoke. And every year it's my duty to make a paw paw picking pilgrimage down in Athens, Ohio, so that I can bring them back to Cleveland for the people up here who haven't had those yet. So that's just what I like, it's my style, it's what I like to do. All right, let's go to the other farm. All right, welcome to Old Husher's Farm. This is where it began three years ago. You saw the new place across town, and I wanted to show you where it all began. I'm standing right here on my giant Hoogle culture bed above an old asphalt driveway. It's filled with all sorts of city goodies like Great Lakes Brewing Company grains and Loop Coffee House coffee grinds and some municipal leaf humus to top it all off. Behind me is Pete. He always complains about the fence that's also behind me, but that's in the manifesto. You'll see enough of that later.
You know, it's not just about the glories of growing vegetables in the city. It's also cover mundane things Hey like, man, where's your fire hydrant? I don't know. Definitely show the shorts. Justin, I always see you at the farmer's market, but I've never seen you with a beard like that before. It's my manifesto beard. It's a physiological and a psychological incentive to get this thing published. It's physiological in the sense that it's driving me nuts and psychological in the sense that Sarah's like, when are you going to shave your beard? And I'm like, when I publish my manifesto. And she's like, well, when are you going to publish your manifesto? And I'm like, I don't know. Hopefully soon. Was that too wordy? Probably. <laughs>